This is our hoop barn. So this is where we calf. This cow had her calf this morning. We have three pins that we can pin into. And then this end pin has a head gate and a squeeze just in case somebody needs some help. But as you can see, hi honey, they're pretty good size. They're in here for 24 hours just to make sure everybody bonds and dry and clean and everybody's happy. Over here is a group pin. We bring all the cows in at night and we lock everybody in there. And then during the day, they can go out to the lot, which is connected to a pasture. The pasture is about two, three acres. It's not a whole lot, but enough that they can walk around. And then they just come in and eat at will. There's silage and hay for them. But then at night, we'll close this green gate and that red gate over there and lock them inside. That way, if by chance we don't see them, getting close and we pin them they calve in here where it's nice and warm and dry but this is our hoop barn we talked about the warm room it is down there on the end again not very big nothing fancy but it sure serves its purpose extra hay and straw on top of there and then we have more down on the end as well there's a door on the west end and a door on the east end we kind of leave the east open just for extra ventilation for now but when there's snow or it's really cold, we'll close that door. But that little north door always stays open. Occasionally we've tarped it off, but not routinely. We do have cameras. Not sure if you can see, but up there, there's one up in that rafter. There's three different views of the camera, so we can see who's calving, or if somebody looks like they might be having some issues, or if somebody's close. Or if you're Scott, you text your wife when you're on a trip at two in the morning and say, hey, just wanted to say hi, as he sees me walking to check cows. <sighs> but this is the hoop barn. And this is 1608 and her bull calf. Excuse me, 1670 and her bull calf.